Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk to you about Zoloft. This is something that I started taking about three months ago, I believe. I think this is my fourth month using it, and I just wanted to tell you guys my personal experience. If you missed my mental health update, I will link it down below. A quick summary is I was severely depressed, and my therapist actually recommended that I go on medication, and that was something I'm open to and was open to. And spoiler, I am a fan of Zoloft. This is what it looks like. This is my little prescription. I started on 50 milligram and they bumped me up to, they, my psychiatrist bumped me up to 100 milligrams. So when you start taking Zoloft, it takes a while for it to work or it to kick in. So for the first few weeks, nothing really was happening. I didn't notice any changes. And then about a month, I'd say, into taking Zoloft, I started feeling better. And I noticed because I wanted to start doing things again, I was able to concentrate and focus on my work better. Before I couldn't concentrate or do anything, <laughs> really. It's like, what I said in my last video was, it's like my, my brain, me, everything just shut down. Like I could not concentrate, I couldn't get any work done. I also didn't want to do anything, like ever. I honestly just wanted to lay down all day, that's it. Um, and I was very emotional, I was crying a lot over anything. I was very angry over anything and when I was talking to my therapist about it, she said that's what depression is. I mean, it got to a point where I told her that I felt like I couldn't, I just couldn't handle it anymore really. So she suggested I take some medication. She asked if I was open to it and again I was. And the place that I actually went was a walk-in clinic because everywhere I was calling to try to get an appointment with a psychiatrist was booked. They were full for months and that wasn't acceptable for me. I knew I knew that I needed help and I knew that help was there somewhere, I just had to find it. So I was calling and calling and calling several places in Los Angeles and I finally found, actually my therapist found, Exodus and it's called Exodus Recovery. I'll link their website and everything down below. That's where I went. And the whole process took about two and a half hours. When I walked in, it, I was like the first person there. I walked in at seven in the morning. I think it was a Friday morning. And I was the first person in there. And they said, it'll take anywhere from like two to five hours for the whole process. So it was a walk-in clinic so that I could talk to a psychiatrist so that they could prescribe something for me. Now, Zoloft is what I was prescribed. If you're someone looking into a medication, who knows what your psychiatrist might prescribe you, um, everyone's different. That's the main thing is everyone's different and the whole reason why I wanted to make this video is just to normalize this because this isn't, this isn't anything weird or scary or anything like that and I don't think people should be down on themselves if they feel bad because that's only making it worse. Like if you're feeling down and you're like, man, I should just feel better. Like that doesn't work. <laughs> you know that doesn't work. Um, you can't just snap your fingers and feel better. Sometimes you just need a little extra help and medication can really do that. So. That's why I want to make this video. That's why I want to show off my medicine and kind of normalize this and fuck stigma. Like <laughs> stigma surrounding mental health is BS. I just think it's ridiculous and it's time we look after each other a little bit better and you have to look after yourself to the best of your ability. So, <laughs> all right, I'm done preaching on that. Um, <laughs> yes, I wanted to talk to a psychiatrist because I knew I needed help. Ooh. I don't know what that was. I think it was my neighbor. Anyway, and she suggested, she listed like five medications I could take. And she actually said, I'm gonna start you on Zoloft just because that's like a good, I feel like that's a good medium to gauge people. Um, so again, everyone's different. If you're looking into this with your psychiatrist, who knows what they might suggest and the milligram and everything like that. So for my side effects, I noticed and my psychiatrist actually told me you might notice a little bit of weight loss, which I have noticed, and also feeling a little bit nauseous. Now, I only felt extreme, I felt extremely nauseous one day, one day, and then the next day I was kind of nauseous, and then after that it's gone away, um, and that was within the first month of taking Zoloft. And again, I started with 50 milligrams and they bumped me up to one, they, my psychiatrist bumped me up to 100. <laughs> Um, and with Zoloft, it's cool because you can keep going up to 250 milligrams, but 50 is where you start and then you can kind of like gauge how you're feeling or if you need to be switched to another medicine or anything like that. It's very cool. So when you're trying out medication, it's not going to work right away. You have to know that it's not going to work overnight. You're not instantly going to feel better. You might have to, you and your psychiatrist, I should say, <laughs> I'm not a mental health professional. I'm just giving my experience and yeah pointing you guys hopefully in the right direction. Um, but you and your psychiatrist might want to gauge 
what medication it is and also the milligrams and everything like that. And then it's something that I've noticed with my therapist. It's just something that I had to watch was, you know, how am I feeling week to week and what other side effects is it? So those were the only two, honestly, side effects other than I'm feeling better. Like I'm, I went back to school for a semester and I kicked ass and it has been a great experience with Zoloft. And that's why I'm like advocating for it. Hey, if you need a little boop, like I mentioned in my last video, um, why not take it? Why not help yourself out? Life is short enough as it is already. You might as well feel good. Um, <laughs> yeah, and enjoy your life. Uh, so what else? Okay, so I noticed a little bit of weight loss. That, I, I lost three to four pounds and that has just stayed off which is kind of cool. I mean, that's a plus, right? Like anybody was like, oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, I've noticed like I've lost like three to four pounds and that's just stayed off. It's not coming back, I guess. Um, it hasn't increased with the Zoloft increase. It's just, that's just how it's been. And also I was feeling a little bit nauseous and I'm not anymore. And that only lasted for a couple days. Um, and that was pretty much it. Otherwise I'm feeling better. Um, I'll link below a website that lists other side effects of Zoloft, but from my personal experience, those are the only things that I really noticed. Actually, I take that back. I should mention there was a couple days when I was feeling a little bit nauseous, I felt really off. So it just takes time. Like I felt off as in like I had a headache, I felt nauseous, I felt dizzy. So I kind of took that day as a rest, rest day. I was also, I was sitting there eating a salad in our kitchen and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I can't eat this anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's my personal experience with Zoloft so far. I'll update you guys if any changes happen, if I notice anything else, if I, I'm actually gonna meet with a new psychiatrist soon. And yeah, if you guys wanna know more about this mental health journey with me, um, <laughs> just let me know down below in the comment section. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. And yeah, again, I just wanted to kind of normalize medication because I know sometimes it can seem like a scary thing. I know like before I thought, no, I don't want to get like on medication and have to depend on that. I don't know. I Before I felt kind of off about it or weird about it, but now I wish I would have started it sooner because I mean, I can't go back and change things, but if I could, I wish I would have started this sooner because I have been feeling so much better. I've been so much more productive and living my life and living my best life. So I really like it when people open up and talk more about mental health and their personal experiences, especially regarding therapists, psychiatry, medication, how they're feeling on a day-to-day -day basis. If you struggle with PTSD or depression or anxiety or anything like that, I think it's really important for us to all speak up about it because I think people start to realize like they're not the only ones who feel that way. They're not alone in this. Um, everyone feels down from time to time or extremely anxious or depressed or whatever it might be. Um, I really like videos online where people open up about mental health. So I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll list some resources down below in the description bar so you guys can check that out as well. But I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.